Yo, yo everyone, Mango here, and welcome to a quick little instructional video for the online trading card game Shadow Era. So this is going to be a real basic and quick video, and it's just about how to view past match history. Okay, so we're going to start off here just at the campaign map. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to this little glass or chalice icon. We're going to click on that. Let's have a drink, see what they got. They got top players. Alright, so they got top, pl uh, top players for these top three, uh, for the three gaming modes. We're not going to go over that at all. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to look at the best score. We're going to say, hey, look, Ozone F, this guy's number one. Maybe you're new. You don't really know what all this stuff is. But you go, hey, this guy's number one. He must be doing something right. So let's click on his screen there or his little uh, avatar and let's see what comes up. Okay, look, we got his gaming information right here. Cool. You go, hey, what's this? Games button. Let's click on that. Boom, look at that. Now you have access to his most recent gaming history uh, going back 22 games, I believe it is. So you see, you could just scroll up and down uh, to see which ones uh, catches your eye. But And then all you have to do is uh, go to the match. Go ahead and just, yeah, it's just easier to, eh, it doesn't matter where you click, just click on it somewhere. And then, boom, the game comes up for you. All right. So then uh, what you do is you're able to watch this uh, just as if it was going on live and you joined as a spectator. All right, so no different there. You can't see the cards in either player's hand, but you're able to watch as the game is played out. Uh, the one option you do have, though, is you can hit pause, and then the game stops. This way, you're not, uh, you don't miss anything in case you want to get up and get a ham sandwich or something, okay? And then uh, when you're ready to go again, just hit continue. There you go. Good to go. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and come down to the bottom left-hand corner, and we're going to use this option to leave. And there you go. Uh, the next way that you can find games is by searching by name. So I'm going to type in BP uh, Amber. Like maybe I don't remember the guy's whole name, but I remember part of it. And there you go. BP Amber Fade. And so you see, I didn't type in the entire name, but I did type in a good portion of it. And it was able to you know, fill in the rest for me and bring up his, his games. Then the same thing applies. You know, you can use this to scroll down, up and down. And then you just click on the game, uh, click on the match when you want to view it. The final option here is the way to view your own games, and it's very simple. My Games button. Just click the My, My Games button, and there you go. There's your most recent match history, and so what you do is you just click on one of your games, and maybe you wanted to watch it again just to see you know, how it was you are able to pull out that win, or more, which probably best is to watch the games that you've lost. This way you can try to figure out what you could have done differently to maybe uh, change the outcome. You know, maybe you sacrificed a card early on that you realized, man, if I only would have held on to that card for another two turns, it would have been really helpful for me. And, you know, unfortunately you did not. And you lost the game. Maybe maybe it would have helped you win the game. Maybe it would not. You know, you never know. But at least you're able to kind of go back and say, okay, next time I'm in this matchup and I have, you know, a semblance of these cards in my hand, you can make choices a little easier because you can go back to uh, what happened when you lost and you know try to change that for for your next game uh, for your for your current matchup and try to win that one okay so that's a, it's a great reason to watch past games mostly just to watch the ones that you've lost and try to learn something from them again so same thing you just go down bottom left hand corner and leave and so that's really it so again uh, this was just about helping you to view the match history you know and again if you're on the campaign screen all you have to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner hit the cup and then click on a player that you want to check out. There you go. You click on the player. And then you click on the games button. And there you are. Then you're able to just view any of his matches when they pop up. And that's it. And then don't forget that if you want to see your games, just go to the search and hit my games. And you'll be able to view your own games. Okay. So that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, it's going to be a real quick video. And it's just, just focusing on the being able to review your match history. And so, again, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. You know, please do everything you can to help us out. Uh, like, share, subscribe, you know, the videos and to the channel. And uh, just uh, we'll try to get some more stuff on there to help new players. Uh, there's still a video up there that I, I think is really helpful. It tells you exactly how to get started. It says it's uh, titled New to Shadow Era. And there's three different videos, and it shows you how from nothing 
uh, from starting from nothing, brand new account, how you're able to build at least one competitive deck. I need to get the other, or we need to get the other ones out there for the rest of the heroes, but, you know, we'll, we'll take care of that shortly. Again, this video, though, was just about the match history. So, again, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, again, thank you for supporting us, our channel, Guides of the Era, as we try to make this game a little bit easier or and just give some instruction to new players when they join us. All right, so see you guys next time.